Kishu Inu 10. Most Kishu Inus are white. If you picked a random Kishu Inu in 1934, what are the chances it would have been white? Write what you think the answer is in the comments below and we'll reveal the answer at the end of the video, so watch till the end. Hey everybody, welcome to Top 10 Doggy. Today, we're going to go over really cool dog breed info for Kishu Inus. History and Background The Kishu Inu originates from Japan. The name Kishu Inu comes from Kishu or Kyushu region which is modern-day Mie and Wakayama prefecture in Japan, which hints at where they are from, but not necessarily their purpose. Some alternate names for the Kishu Inu include, Kishu Ken, Kamana Ken and Taichi Ken. The Kishu Inu is one of six Japanese spitz breeds. Spitz breeds are dogs characterized by their pointy ears, long snouts, thick fur and striking resemblance to wolves. For instance these dogs all look similar, they're all Japanese spitz breeds. However, they are a small subsection of the overall spitz breeds because you also have spitz breeds like the Siberian Huskies, Alaskan Malamutes, Finnish Spitz, and many more from outside of Japan that look very similar. The Kishu Inu has a very preserved bloodline, but the origins and date of their initial discovery are uncertain. It's said that the Kishu Inu breed was a gift from a wolf that was spared by a hunter. After sparing the wolf, a wolf pup was given to the hunter. This story points to how similar Kishu Ken are to wolves. Specifically, these dogs were used for hunting in the mountainous Kishu region. It is said that the ancestors of this breed go back to 1000 BC, but the actual modern-day Kishu was noted in the 20th century. While some parts of this history are similar to other Spitz breeds, this dog breed has a uniquely unexplored background. Nowadays, Kishu Inus are house pets or outstanding hunting dogs, especially in mountainous regions. Due to the Kishu Inu's bravery and outstanding loyalty, they were really good at their job. The Kishu Inu was first discovered and documented by a Japanese dog breeder, Haruo Isagai, in the 1930s. Initially, Kishu Inus were among the Japanese dogs for a while, but weren't categorized until this point. In 1934, the Kishu Inu was declared a natural monument. The unfortunate reality is that the population of Kishu Inus is very small, but is rapidly decreasing with less than 1,000 registered currently. Appearance As far as appearance, Kishu Inus for the most part, are medium-sized dogs, coming in at a height of 17 to 22 inches or 43 to 56 centimeters and weighing 30 to 60 pounds or 14 to 27 kilograms on average. These snow dogs have long, narrow snouts and a square-shaped head with fringed cheeks. Their noses are a standard black, but occasionally pink or brown. Their eyes are dark brown and their eyebrows in Yurijiro are not well defined. Yurijiro is the Japanese name of the white fur color on the face and the underside of the dog. Their ears can best be described as upright and pricked but also slightly shorter than the other spitz breeds. This position offers the Kishu Inu amazing hearing. The fur coats of these snow dogs are thick to withstand extreme cold high in the mountains, but not as long as the other spitz breeds. Their fur colors are solid white, brindle, or red. There used to be spotted Kishu Kens, but they weren't bred and eventually fell off the face of the planet. They are very muscular dogs and strong enough to hunt deer and boar. Their tails are curled up behind their backs, but not as tightly as the other spitz breeds. Traits and behavior. Kishu Inus are typically intelligent, dominant, and loyal dogs. They commonly display intelligent behavior by being easy to understand and execute training regimens. For example, these dogs have very good recall skills, meaning that if they run off and you call them, they will come right back to you. They also commonly display dominance by trying to assert dominance among other dogs. For example, these dogs may end up trying to put another dog in its place if it comes into its territory or near its food. Their loyalty can also be seen in the way they follow their owners and guard their homes. For these reasons, this dog is praised for its extreme loyalty and amazing hunting prowess. Kishu Inu are also known for being friendly with children if raised among them, but not necessarily friendly towards strangers or small animals. It would probably still be best to keep this dog as an only pet, as it may inevitably try to consume your cat, bird or other small animals if given the chance. Exercise and trainability. On average, Kishu Inus are mildly active dogs with a tendency to be energetic and need to go on daily walks at least 30 minutes of high-intensity activity a day. Kishu Inus may be adaptable to more sedentary lifestyles and apartment lifestyles as they are not as active as other spitz breeds. Kishu Inus are likely to aggressively chase after other animals while on walks due to their prey drive. Although they have great recall listening skills, their nature to hunt means they could be conflicted if unleashed. Kishu Inus have been described as devoted to their owners, but also independent thinkers. 
Such a dog will require a confident and dedicated owner to train. If you own a Kishu Inu, you may want to start training your dog from an early age, using positive reinforcement with something they value such as a toy or food. Try to get your dog out to socialize with other people and dogs to prevent them from being overly aggressive, territorial and selfish with their food or toys. If you like the video so far please make sure to hit that like button. And check out the link in the description if you want to train your dog to be more obedient by unlocking your dog's natural intelligence. Maintenance and care. Speaking of fun activities to do with your dog, you may also want to consider the level of maintenance for owning a Kishu Inu. Kishu Inus are low-maintenance dogs, not requiring more than the basic sustenance, love and attention that the average dog needs. For these types of dogs, because they remain pretty clean naturally, grow their nails quickly, and shed often, you will want to brush them every week and clip their nails monthly. However, baths don't have to be as frequent as with other dog breeds because they naturally keep themselves clean. Just like with other dogs, it's good to keep their teeth, ears, and fur clean, but besides weekly brushing, they are pretty low maintenance. By doing these things you can help them be happier and healthier. Health Conditions Kishu Enus are pretty healthy dog breeds having a lifespan of 11 to 13 years, but they can also have genetic complications that include hyperthyroidism, entropion, autoimmune disorder, allergies and cancer. Unlike other Spitz breeds, Kai Ken aren't very prone to joint conditions like hip dysplasia. Maintain a vigilant eye and regular health checks from puppyhood on and if your dog shows signs of unusual pain or behavior, it's better to react sooner than later. It can be difficult to detect these conditions in a growing puppy, however, if you find a reputable breeder who is committed to breeding the healthiest animals possible, they should be able to produce a health registry that shows the lineage of the dog has been screened and deemed healthy for breeding. When a Kishu Inu gets examined and receives an autoimmune thyroiditis, dentition, eye exam, DNA repository, and a health elective, the owner can have the results submitted to the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals or OFA, to be assigned a Canine Health Information Center number or Sheik number for short. This will put the Kishu Inu in an online database so anyone with that number can look up the dog's health status before buying. This organization is for dogs residing in the US and Canada, but the OFA website states owners can submit their country's equivalent health screening results for dogs residing outside the US or Canada and it will be reviewed on a case-by-case -case basis. Despite following all the best practices, any dog can still develop many health complications or diseases naturally. However, advances in veterinary medicine can help your dog live a good life if you notice signs early and act appropriately. Furthermore, the easiest way to prolong your Kishu Inu's life is keeping them at a healthy weight and regular exercise. Popularity. Due to the fact that this is a rare dog breed, there aren't very many famous dogs from this breed. However, we were able to find a familiar group of famous dogs in a returning media source. Some of the most famous dogs from this breed include, several Kishu Inus from several manga created by Yoshihiro Takahashi, and a dog actor from a film called, Ogon no Inu, or, Dog of Fortune. Not much is known about the actual dog that played in the movie, but the character that the dog plays is a Kishu Inu named Guro. The plot is essentially about a dog that travels from Hokkaido to Tokyo to go home after the death of his master. Along the way there are a lot of horrible things that happen along the way. In Yoshiro Takahashi's Ginga or Silver Fang series, several Kishu Inu appear as important characters. This series as a whole is about the journey of the protagonist, Jin, and Akita Inu and then later his son, Weed as they gather a dog army to battle a vicious bear. Throughout the original series, one Kishu Inu that appears is Akame. In the sequel, Kiyoshiro and the main character's mother, Sakura, are also Kishu Inus, meaning Weed is half Kishu and half Akita. I guess if I ever run out of famous dogs to find among the rare Japanese breeds, I can see if the breed shows up in the Ginga series. Recommendation. If you're looking to own a Kishu Inu, due to the fact that Kishu Inus are independent thinkers, loyal, and shed often, we recommend an owner who is also very loyal, patient, and dedicated to spending time grooming and training. This breed is a loyal dog breed, but also can pick up bad habits if not trained properly. Luckily these dogs are easy to train, so please do your research on the dog breed and find a good dog breeder. You can expect to pay $1,200 to $2,200 on average for a Kishu Inu. I bet you didn't know that in 1934, only 30% of Kishu Inus were white. Due to a desire for better visibility of the dog in the forest and aesthetic appeal, the white color was intentionally bred more until they became the majority in 1945. Let us know if you got that question right in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching.